whatever the amount is payable, that is paid to all secured charge. No amount is available for preference shareholder or equity shareholder. You have got a balance of rupees 23,20,000. Now we make the payment. Even for unsecured share, no question of paying preference shareholder and equity shareholder because there is a shortage of money. What the law says now, if the amount available is less, this is they have got a 2%, 2 percent, two by one, not two. If it is three, then three by one, not three. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. B. S. Subramanya, called by name Dr. B. S. S. Professor in Commerce and Management with the Ashram First Rate College and Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. I am going to hand Advanced Corporate Accounting. For semester unit 4 session 2 in favor of liquidator final statement of account in the last session i have explained what do you mean by liquidator so liquidator the person is appointed by the court or the company as per the managing director what is his duties are when the company liquidate closed on first we find out what is the value of the asset and what is the value of the liability once you know the asset value, you will sell the asset one by one and amount will be realized along with the cash bank which is already available in the balance sheet and he will make the payment according to the order. So last two persons are when you pay outsider, the last two persons, what are the format you have? First is the secure creditor, legal expenses, liquidator remuneration on percentage realized, percentage on the unsecured creditor, then liquidation expenses, debenture holder, debenture value plus interest, preferential creditor, unsecured creditor, preferential holder, their dividend. If any amount left over, that goes to equity shareholder. This is the format. We we'll move on to problem now. The following particular relate to PASCO, which goes on the voluntary liquidation. They have got their own voluntary liquidation. You are required to prepare the liquidator or final statement of account. Allowing for its remuneration, 2.5% and all asset realized, excluding call money received, and 2% on the amount paid to unsecured creditor, including preferential creditor. Share capital, 10,000 preferential share of 100 each, 5,000 equal share of 10 each, 30,000 equal share of 10 each, 8 paid up, still they have to pay the balance of 2 rupees. Then asset realized at the time of liquidation, the asset realized is 20 lakh, excluding the amount realized by sale of securities held by partly secured creditor, preferential creditor is 50,000, unsecured creditor is 18 lakh. Then partly secured creditor, asset realized is 3 lakh 20,000, security given is 3 lakh 50,000, debenture having floating charges on all aside of the company 6 lakh. Expense of liquidation 10,000, a call of rupees 2 per share, which is partly paid up. Equal share was duly received, except in case of one shareholder owing 1,000 share. Then, first we have to go with the format now. What is a cash at bank? You see that your cash at bank asset nil is there. What is your asset realized? By secure creditor, amount realized is 3 lakh 20,000. From the other asset, we realize 20 lakh. Total amount realized is 23 lakh 20,000. So you have got a balance of rupees 23 lakh 20,000. Now we make the payment. First one, you paid to secure creditor 3 lakh 20,000. As per the problem, the secure creditor realizes 3 lakh 20. You are paying 3 lakh 50,000. You are paying 3 lakh 20,000. Legal charges nil, liquidated remission. 2.5 percent on 23 lakh 20,000, then 2 percent on preferential creditor, whatever the leftover on this, I will show you in the work or working note. 2 percent on unsecured creditor, then you have to pay the liquidation expense of 10,000, then you have to pay the debenture holder 6 lakh, then you have to pay the preferential creditor 50,000, then Whatever the like, unsecured creditor and last, there is no amount available to preference. See that your working note here. Five calculation of liquidity remuneration. Five percent on asset realized. Your asset realized is twenty three lakh twenty thousand two point five percent. It works out fifty eight thousand two percent amount paid to preferential creditor fifty thousand and two by hundred is one thousand. 
two percent amount payable to unsecured creditor. Totally available is twenty three lakh seventy eight thousand here. You have got twenty three lakh twenty thousand plus amount realized twenty three lakh seventy nine. The expenditure made is ten lakh thirty nine thousand. Still, how much you have to pay? Thirteen lakh under two percent twenty six thousand two fifty five. Here the word is no. Twenty nine equity share of rupees ten ten each. Come back here. Thirty thousand equity share of ten each. Eight paid up. How much partly paid up is two rupees. Last word. A call of rupees two per share and partly paid equity share duly received. Except in case of sharing one thousand share. So you have to receive only on twenty nine thousand share of rupees two each. The one thousand shareholder not paid. So how much realize? Fifty-eight thousand. So fifty-eight plus twenty-three lakh means twenty-three lakh seventy-eight thousand. Here see the working note: twenty-three lakh seventy-eight thousand. How much expenditure is made? Ten lakh. If we add all these expenditures, it all these expenditure, it will come ten lakh thirty-nine thousand. How much money left over for unsecured creditor? Here two percent amount paid to unsecured creditor. Twenty-three lakh seventy-eight thousand minus amount. Expenditure is ten lakh thirty nine thousand. Balance is thirty nine lakh under two percent twenty six thousand two fifty five. Here say amount is shown the receipt side and the payment of the actually secured creditor which have less shown on the payment side. The unsatisfied portion is treated as unsecured creditor. Here first we pay the debenture holder, we pay the preferential creditor, then. Whatever the amount is payable, that is paid to unsecured creditor. No amount is available for preferential shareholder or equity shareholder. Whatever the amount available, twenty three lakh twenty thousand by call scenarios is collected. We have got collected about thirty thousand share, but one one thousand share is arrears. We are collecting on twenty nine thousand share at what rupees two rupees fifty eight thousand. We pay the secured creditor. Liquidator revision on twenty three lakh twenty thousand two percent on preferential car fifty thousand two percent as per the calculation twenty six twenty six thousand two fifty five liquidation expense ten thousand debenture holder six lakh preferential fifty thousand available balance is thirteen lakh twelve thousand seven forty five actually you have to pay eighteen lakh thirty thousand seventy one percent you are going to pay even for unsecured car. No question of paying preference shareholder and equity shareholder because there is a shortage of money. Second problem: Week Limited went into liquidation on first April two thousand fifteen. The balance sheet of the company on this date was as follows: This is a balance sheet, share capital twelve thousand, ten percent preference share of fifty each, twenty thousand equal ten each, five percent debenture sixty thousand, credit or one lakh three thousand, plan two lakh stock. Profit. This is the last thirty thousand. Then preference due was in arrears for one year and payable on liquidation. Plant and stock realized two lakh seventy five thousand. Debt are realized twenty five thousand. Debt are worth twenty per bag. Credit are into five thousand. Preferential liquidation amounted to expense thousand six hundred. Liquidation was agreed at two percent on the amount realized except cash and two percent amount distributed to. Equity shareholder, debenture holder were paid on one ten two thousand fifteen. Come back here. Cash at bank is three thousand. Here three thousand is there. Then asset realize, plant and stock realize. This is debt are realize is one lakh twenty five thousand. Totally four lakh has been realized. Come back here. Format of payment, debt payment from secured creditor. There is no secured creditor. There is no legal expense, legal charge. Liquidator portion two percent on four lakh, then two percent on working note no, here two percent asset realized is eight thousand two percent amount paid to equity shareholder four lakh three thousand minus if all this payment goes leave this amount two percent on the liquidation I will explain this liquidation expense is thousand six hundred debenture or debenture value is sixty thousand. Interest for here. See that your balance sheet is on first April one four. Payment has been made on which date? One ten. One four means four five six seven eight nine ten. So how many months interest you have to pay? That interest you have calculated. 
debenture add interest is 1500 so rate of interest is given liquidator remuneration debenture holder 25000 see that creditor here 5% debenture of 60000 5% has been calculated for 6 months 60000 5% of 60000 3000 for one year for a 6 months it is 1500 Total is 61,500. Preferential credit are 5,000. Unsecured credit are is 98,000. Preferential holder is 1,32,000. This is your preferential capital is 1,20,000. And dividend for one year, rate of dividend 10% is given 12,000. Totally 1,32,000. Whatever the amount left over, 95,000 goes in favor of equity shareholder. For, so, 95,000 divided by 20,000 share, each shareholder will get 4 rupees 75 paisa. If we say that calculation of liquid equity ratio, total asset realized 4 lakh, 2 lakh, 2% 2 on this is 8,000, 2% amount paid to equity shareholder, last is 4 lakh, 3,000 minus 3 lakh, 6,000. The amount left over is 96,500, 900. Out of the is it? 2% means if we got 1 or 2, you have to pay the remuneration 2%. If the amount available is 96,900, amount payable is 1,900. So out of 96,000, we paid amount 1,000, the balance 95,000 goes to equity shareholder. What the law says now, if the amount available is less, this is they have got a 2%, 2 by 1, not 2. If it is 3, then 3 by 1, not 3. What is the total asset realized? 4 lakh, 2% of um, this is 8 lakh. Amount paid to equity shareholder, 4 lakh, 3,000. Minus total expenditure, 3 lakh, 6,000 will come. The balance is 96,900. But we have to pay more to equity share, what's called equity shareholder. So what we say that if your 2% means if the amount available is 102, we will pay the 2% and 96,000 is 1,900. Come back here, show that. There is no secure creditor, there is no legal charges here. Liquidation, 2% and 4 lakh. This is 2% on 95,000. Face value, 1,900. That 2 by 102, actually 96 is come. 2 by 102, that amount working notice date. Liquidation expense is 1,600. Debenture holder, debenture value 60,000. The amount, if the date is given, the date only goes to debate. If the date is not given, only 60,000 has to pay. But the date of the balance sheet is 1st April. After 6 months, we are making the payment. 6 months interest you have to calculate. This is order. So, this will be 61,500. Preferential creditor is 5,000. Unsecured creditor is 98,000. Preferent shareholder is 1 lakh 30, real value is 1 lakh 20,000. One year dividend is not yet paid at the time of liquidation. You have to pay the 12,000, it becomes 1 lakh 32,000. Whatever the amount left over, that goes in favor of equity shareholder. The amount payable to equity is 95,000 divided by 20,000 share. Each shareholder get 4 rupees 75 paisa. Here, see that you got 20,000 equity share, 10 each is there, but each shareholder will get. 95,000 amount available that pays to the e, what's called equity shareholder. How many shares are there? 20,000. So 95,000 divided by 20,000. Each shareholder will get 4.75 rupees per share. Now this you have to understand. On the total asset, 2% on this. 2% amount paid to equity shareholder, they say. Equity shareholder is last person. 4 lakh 3,000. If we add all this expenditure, it will come. 36100 the balance is 96900 then 2 by 1 leaving this leaving this we have to come back here 96900 out of that 1900 goes then we have to pay only 1900 in interest then what amount amount left over is 95000 that will be paid to whom we could share actually is 96100 1,900 will go as a remuneration. The balance is how much available? 95,000. For how many shareholder? 20,000. So 95,000 divided 20. 4 rupees 75 paisa per share they will get. They will get the less money. First you have to pay the preference shareholder. Their dividend, if any amount is left over, that goes to equity. 
this point should be remembered. Two per sum one pay to equal share the last man out of four lakh three thousand. The total expenditure will come three lakh six thousand one hundred. So the balance amount is ninety six thousand nine hundred. How much percentage is given? Two percent. If it is a two by one not three, if it is a three percent, three by one not three. Two means two by one not two. One means one by one not one. Two means two not two. So this remuneration is payable to liquidate it up. Whatever the amount left over, that goes to equity shareholder. He will get how much money? Ninety five thousand for how many share? Twenty thousand share. He will get how much money? Four rupees seventy five paisa per share. Hope you understand. So I solved the two problems. That what you have to learn the format here is what is the amount realized. What is the cash share by? How much amount have been realized? Go with the format. What is the first one? Secure creditor. Then second one, legal expenses. Number three, liquidator remission percentage on asset realized, percentage on unsecured creditor, even preferential creditor also unsecured. Other than if the problem says, then only you have to say on the unsecured creditor. Then liquidation expenses. Then debenture holder debenture. Plus interest. If the date is mentioned, out of balance sheet date one, the payment date is one. We have to calculate interest, debenture value, debenture interest. Then preferential creditor, then unsecured creditor, then preferential holder, their dividend, whatever the amount left over that goes to equity shareholder. Once again, I will repeat. At the time of liquidation, first whatever the cash at bank first you have to write. Then whatever the assets sold realized. It will come on the receipt side. Then come back to payment side. Whom to pay first? Secure creditor. Second one, legal expenses. Number three, liquidation expenses. Percentage on asset realized. Percentage on unsecured creditor. Even preferential creditor also unsecured. Then liquidation expenses. Then debenture holder. Debenture value. Their interest. Then preferential creditor. Then unsecured creditor. Then the two holders are preferential holder, preferential capital, their dividend. If any amount left over, that goes to equity shareholder. If we learn this format, the problem will be very easy. Hope I solve two problem. If we go through the two problem, there's a basis for format. Hope we understand this problem. So I have solved the two problem. Definitely, it will help you from the examination. Goodbye. Best of luck in the examination.